Hey y'all, it's Christy from Tea Dottles. <laughs> I got some mail today, some shipments. Of course, some of it is a little damaged, and I'm not too happy about that, but I haven't long been back from my walk and everything. I had to stop by the store and pick up a few things, and you now my son went to go get milk, because I thought we had some here, and we didn't, and I had some Oreo cookies, and I really don't want to eat them. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we have a nice brisk walk today. Uh, I'm going to have to get me some, uh, or I have some gloves. Remember to take my gloves and like a, one of my, one of those ear, uh, ear warmers. I've made them before, but they've all been given away. So I'll have to make me one because I don't always want to wear a hat when I'm walking. But anywho, so I got some advent, some more advents in. This is the. I got this one from Amazon, the 24 crystal one, like this, it does have some of the little things got poked in, so this is a 24 day one, yeah, so I'm excited to see what's in there, it's pretty heavy, um, now, I also ordered, before I show you, my other stuff that got damaged because I'm not very happy about it. I'll, there's one thing at least I got to send back, or they gonna have to refund me or something. I ordered this pack of reading glasses because I gotta have reading glasses to, to read now, and I need some. I figured I'd get a bunch of them so that I could uh, leave them everywhere. <laughs> this little pack, I don't think I paid but like thirteen dollars for it, but it came with this little. This tiny flashlight you can put on something. It came with some hangers, like you hang around your neck if you want to. Some cleaners. It's even got a little, just basic cases for each pair. Um, this is just a plus one. They had it in different levels. That's all I really need. They got the tortoise shell look. And these are supposed to have the blue light blocking for being online. This is kind of a... a Quarter shell, but a different color, and then they had a green, and they have well, this is okay, this is a different color, it's blue, <laughs> it looked almost the same, and then just black and these clear ones. So, oh, I'll be good, and I can have them. I can leave some at school, I can leave some. In here and in there and everywhere and in my pocket look and in this back, you know what I'm saying? Because I've got one pair that I keep in my box that I use to make charms and stuff. And I was like, I need a few more pair. So I may as well just keep them. And these are supposed to be unisex, like man or woman. So I like those. I haven't tried them out to see. Should work. It should work. <laughs> All right. Now, I ordered this pan from jcpenny.com. Because, see, I haven't gotten everything from them. It came in this big box. This big upright box. There was no padding in it or not. Or anything. Look at, look at this. Do you, do you kind of see what the problem is? You see how crooked this is? That's because the whole end is bent in. Look at that. The whole end of the pan is bent in. Right here. And the handle well, because they just put it in a box that stood upright, which was in like this. Didn't put no padding in it or nothing. So they had to get hit pretty hard to bend that in. I'm not happy about that. This was supposed to be a Christmas gift. I don't know if they're going to make me send it back or what. So I'll let y'all know. I'll be emailing them in the morning with a picture of my bent pan. Lord have mercy. And then I got a Target box. This box was huge, long, not super tall. And it was, you could tell it had gotten squished. I like two t-shirts in it and my elf advent calendar 
Mm-mm. Yeah. I'm glad this is just socks in here. Yeah. You can see. This is supposed to open up, but I don't know that I'm going to get it to open up like it's supposed to because it is so bent. Okay, maybe I can grab some scissors. <sighs> I mean, I know there's a lot of packages going through the veil, and I feel, or the, now some of this came UPS, and some of this, this, the two things that are damaged the worst came UPS. And the Amazon box came to the mail, and I had some dog wash in it, like bath stuff. And there was some of it on the side, and I was like, oh, it's going to leak all out in there. But I didn't see where it leaked out of it, so I don't know if it was just on there when it left. Okay, so this is, I see, it's got little things to open up inside. Yeah. That's just like a 15-day one, which is weird. Usually they're 12 or 24, so I don't know why this one's 15. But, yeah. Like I said, I'm glad that's just socks. Well, I just need some food one and I'll be set. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's so irritated. And my yarn from Librand came in today, so we're going to look at the yarn. That'll be fun at least. At least it wasn't damaged. Oh. So, the yarn I ordered, like I said, it was a pattern from oh, I it? Evelyn and Peters. I think that's who it is. It's a mush. It's a corner to corner mushroom afghan or blanket. And this is the fa the yarn that she uses. It's called Chanel Appeal. Let's get cozy. So, it's not a very thick chenille yarn, as you can see. Um, this is a, it is still considered a number four, but when you're dealing with fuzzy yarns like this, they, they t tend to, the weight of them tends to be larger than what you would think if you looked at it, if that makes sense, because it, it doesn't, you got to make your stitch bigger to pull the yarn through. Does that make sense if you've ever crocheted with a velvet or chenille yarn? This is 100% polyester. There's 284 yards on this, which is pretty nice. Um, so I got one in stucco, one in rose, rose dawn, one in Harvest Gold and one in Peach Whip. So this is the colors the mushroom's going to be. It's kind of a neutrally kind of colored tone. Yeah. And then the main body is in this coconut milk color. So, so 10 skeins. I'm going to make a blanket, like a lap blanket size. So that's nice. So then I also got, uh, hold on just a second. Okay. <laughs> Nose running. It's cold. I got this new, it says Stitch Soak Scrub. It's 100% nylon. From Lime Brand. It's like, it looks just like the stuff that you, a loofah is made of or one of those scrubby sponges is made of. Well, that's going to be interesting to work with. Uh, this is Quetzal Green, Quetzal Green and Cabaret, which these colors looked a lot different online, I'm going to say. This looked like it was really bright. Not that bright, really, but it's 100% nylon. Um, get 92 yards on each of them. I think I'm going to come up with a pattern where it's scrubby on one side and cotton yarn on the other side. So you're going to have scrub, like, 
Yeah, you see those washcloths that are like that on one side? I think I'm going to do one like that. Let's see how it works out. Because it's pretty. this is a pretty stretchy yarn since it's like a chainette sort of thing. So, those are my yarns. That I just dumped into the floor. I'm pretty sure it shut the camera too, so. Watch out for that little earthquake. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I am tired. I am ready to go in here and get me something to eat. And I'm going to sit and watch TV. I'm actually watching Better Call Saul. I think it is. Y'all probably, anybody who watches TV a lot or does the TV thing, you've probably seen all that. Because I just watched Breaking Bad. Mostly because my both my son and my best friend were watching it. And they both were telling me about it, which is unusual because they're two very different people. <laughs> so, I watched it. It was pretty good. Uh, interesting, for sure. And so, then I watched, what is it, El Camino or whatever it is, the movie. And then, now I'm on Better Call Saul. So, and I watched, last night we watched uh, Where the Crawdads Sing, which is my second time seeing it. A very good movie. Uh, someone suggested that I need to read the book. Book is always better. I, I'm an avid reader normally. I just haven't had been reading many books lately. Uh, it's mostly just short articles and stuff. Um, but the book is always better than any movie. But that's a pretty good movie. That's in my top five, I'd have to say now. So uh, I definitely would watch it again. Um, better have some tissues with you if you watch it though. I'm just going to tell you. But it was good. It was, it's good. Um, and we had a roast. And I made a pecan pie. And it was really good. Yeah. I got some leftover roast. And that's what I'm going to go eat. Because it's cold. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And get even colder. So, yeah. I'm just going to go turn on my heating blanket. Heat up my some food. Heat up my some food. Heat me up some food. <laughs> What language am I speaking? I don't know. And chill on the couch. So, I will see y'all tomorrow. I hope y'all have a wonderful evening.